So which current Pittsburgh Steel are you looking forward to watching in 2022? G'day Steel Nation, welcome back to the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate, I'm your host Mark, but today guys, this video is about you, the fan, the super fan that you are of the Steelers, and also a fan of the channel. So, I asked a question the other day in the community post, which current Steeler in 2022, which current Pittsburgh Steeler are you most look forward, you know, most looking forward to playing uh, this year? I did give you guys, I gave you guys five options, so... I had Najee Harris, Kenny Pickett, James Daniels. I had to put an offensive line guy in there somewhere, right? I had to give it a bit of, um, you know, uh, uh, diversity there to, to, to change it up. I put in the new middle linebacker, Miles Jack, which I voted for, and also Minka Fitzpatrick because he's just a legend. So, But we got some pretty interesting results. So this is all based off you guys, right? Out of 233, 236 votes, which is pretty high. It's a lot of votes. Najee Harris got 46%. Kenny Pickett got 26%. James Daniels only got 3%, the poor guy. Uh, Miles Jack came in third with 22%. And Minka Fitzpatrick got 4%. So those are interesting results. It feels like that most of Steeler Nation or Steeler Nation on Pittsburgh Steeler Syndicate, you guys are fans here of our channel and fans of the, of the team, uh, can't wait to see what Najee Harris can do. And guys, I agree with that. Like, I know I voted for Miles Jack, but I'm kind of excited to see what Najee Harris can do in his second year. Second year player, uh, drafted uh, drafted last year in the, in the first round. He's a workhorse. He played outstanding last year, and that was for a rookie. And we couldn't run. We were, uh, I think we were rushing ranked 30th in the league. And the offensive line couldn't help us out. So this year, having hopefully a bit of offensive line, with Ma Mason Cole looks like the starter. He looks to be the starter right now, going in the center. Right guard is James Daniels. Uh, improved Dotson and improved. Um, uh, I can never think of his name. Uh, the left tackle. I can't. I, I never get Dan Moore Jr. That's the one guy somewhere in my brain I can never get his name. Dan Moore Jr. and Chooks. So behind that line, hopefully we can be more improved there. And Najee Harris will hopefully go off. So yeah, guys, this is all you. This is what you guys saw. This is what you guys voted for. 236 votes, you had Najee Harris, 46%, Kenny Pickett at second. So maybe there's a chance that Kenny Pickett may play. Maybe you guys want to see Kenny Pickett play. That could be an opportunity where if Kenny Pickett doesn't start, there could be a chance that he may he may play um, down the line. Or, or also, seeing that first seat, that first pass in preseason will be quite fun. Now, my pick was Miles Jack. I'm a defensive guy. I love to see what the, 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 the defense can do. I played Madden back in the day. I used to use James Ferrier in 2004. And, you know, on Madden, I've always been like a middle linebacker, safety kind of guy. I love that role. So I'm keen to see what Miles Jack can do. But let's get into some of the comments here. Um, these intrigue me as well. So that's me right there. Still a Nation Australia. That's my other channel. Give myself a, uh, a plug there. And I wrote Miles Jack for me because I can't, I can't wait to see what Miles Jack can do. Also, he's wearing 51, James Ferrier's number, right? Next, we had another comment from... Small Ben 7, he says, Pat and Pickens for me. I really think that Pat is going to come out of nowhere and dominate if he if he gets the ball enough. I agree. If Pat Frymouth can can get the ball from Trubisky or Pickett this year in 2022, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. The guy got bigger. The guy's having more fun. And he's also having a lot of fun with his mate next to him, Gentry. They're having a good time, right? If I go into the, the third one here, uh, Red Wave 2036 says, Devin Bush, I'm excited to see what he can do after a full offseason rehab of his knee. Brian Flores coaching him, um, and I think he'll look good, but only time will tell. See you in September. That's exactly right. Devin Bush could be almost like a comeback player this year. Um, I'm also excited to see what he can do. And there's also been talk as well throughout Brian, Brian Flores, uh, Coach Mike Tomlin, and uh, Austin saying, well, what position will he play as linebacker? Will he will he fill that role like Vince William and go in and, and smash people and let Miles Jack roam around and, and wear the green dot? Right? I had a few other ones here I want to bring up. I had a few other ones. Shane Smith says, Najee plus a half-decent O-line would be the thing to see. I agree with you 110%. Devin Hardy says, we all know Najee going crazy, but I think Miles Jack is the one. I agree with you 110%. So... <laughs> I'm agreeing both sides. I agree with seeing watching Nudge, and I agree with seeing watching Miles Jack. But, you know, we're Steelers fans, so you, you, you want to see them all succeed, right? 
Now, uh, Centralia83 says, Naji and Pat for me, also a kilo with a spoon. And that is a good comment too. So Naji and Pat, uh, I think, you know, if you look at, if you look at the, where, okay, right now, where's the football going to go? The football's going to go to Claypool, Deontay, Pickens, Austin, uh, Fryermuth and Naji. So who's going to get the, who's going to get more, more of the reps? Probably Naji be more featured, be being over 70% getting the ball. And Muth, maybe third in line or second in line to get those targets from, from play action or targets in uh, from the tight end. So that is very interesting to see that one. Najee and Pat. And then he also brings up a killer with a spoon. Could be our cornerback number one. And an improved secondary. And with the help of TJ Watt and Miles Jack, like Gregory Taylor says here, if you have a pass rush, God, if you have a pass rush in this defense, it would be so fun to be a cornerback. Because you know that TJ Watt and Highsmith are doing their job for you to go out there and intercept the ball. All right. I have one last one and then I'll wrap it up. Jonathan Harvey says, Najee Harris, which brings it back to the point. Brings it back to the point. You, the fan, voted for which current Pittsburgh still are you most looking forward to in 2022? And that was Najee Harris, 46%. 236 votes. Guys, I am in agreement with you. I agree with you 100%. I can't wait to see what Najee can do in this offense, a new quarterback, a new system with Matt Canada's system, whatever that may be. If we use a tight end set a bit more, if we use the um, Gentry and Muth at the same time with a fullback Derek Watt as well, get give Najee the ball, run like old school football and run into someone's face, knock them over, get six yards, play again, keep going, right? Then Snell and McFarlane can start to come into the mix. We can start to use George Pickens and Claypool and Deontay. This, to me, looks like a really fun offense this year, but we will have to wait and see to see what happens in 2022. But I'm in agreement with you guys. I agree. I think Najee Harris is going to go off this year. I can just feel it in my black and gold bones. Black and gold bones. Thank you guys for the, um, the comments. Thank you guys for checking out the video. And thank you for, you know, taking part in the poll. Sometimes... Uh, these polls can go unnoticed, but I thought, you know what? I want to hear what you guys are saying. And I do appreciate with the over 200, 200 votes, and it's quite a lot of data. And we have now seen that Najee Harris is the fan favorite alongside Kenny Pickett. So could there be a chance? Could there be a chance as Najee Harris is getting the ball handed off to him via Kenny Pickett? That may happen in the future. We don't know if it's going to happen straight away, but it could be Kenny Pickett handing off to Najee. That could very well happen in 2022. We'll have to wait and see. Thanks, guys, for checking out the channel. If you do enjoy the content, hit that sub, hit that like, and I'll see you later.